Folks, today we're gonna talk about earnings, earnings that are coming out this week for two big companies in the retail and the semiconductor space, Lululemon and Micron. Now, this week we've got earnings from two very different companies, but both can give us traders and investors much needed clues in terms of where both the retail sector and the semiconductor sector are headed in the near term. Now, since the US economy is on the verge, and I mean on the verge of reopening, and stimulus checks are being sent out, it's more important than ever to determine how these two corporate giants fare at this junction in the game. Starting with Lululemon, it's reporting Tuesday, March 30th, with analysts expecting revenue of 1.66 billion and earnings per share of $2.48 to be reported. Now, Oppenheimer, uh, the analysts, they believe the recent weakness in Lululemon is largely market-driven and not reflective of the underlying fundamental weakness of the company, which I agree with. They say, and I quote, we're optimistic that the forthcoming positive data points from the company should underpin a gradual recovery in Lulu back towards recent highs, which are about $400 per share. Now, Lulu continues to represent one of our preferred reopening plays across consumer. And I agree with them on that one too. As a matter of fact, it's the number one clothing company right now in terms of momentum. Now, as we increasingly look towards prospects for post-COVID reopening in the, US, in the US and elsewhere, we're hard pressed to envision a better consumer play than Lulu, given prospects for improving demand for clothing and now even more heightened tendencies for consumers to dress more casually. Man, I couldn't agree with that more. And shop online, they confirm. Now, I like what they have to say. Technically, the stock is trading below the 50-day moving average. And I would strongly urge anyone, anyone, to wait till it's above the 50-day line before jumping in to be on the safe side. Because once the stock picks up momentum, once again, the odds are strong it'll take out the previous September high that's sitting roughly at $400 per share. Now, keep your eye on the $325 level since that's roughly where the 50-day moving average sits. The company is a leader in retail and I'm expecting momentum levels to begin driving price higher sooner than later. I expect the stock to rally and once it hits the all-time high, about 399 to 400, to back away and start running again after that. Now, the next stock that I wanna focus on is Micron, ticker symbol MU, and I've been talking a lot about the stock lately. The company reports quarterly earnings on the 31st. Now, that's only two days away. Analysts expect revenue of 6.2 billion and earnings per share of 94 cents. The revenue estimates implies high single-digit percentage growth. Revenue is expected to grow in this single-digit percentage range based on those numbers. Now, according to the company, rising DRAM demand could lead to revenue growth and margin expansion. Moreover, rising consumer spending is positive for retailers, mobile phone makers, and computer manufacturers. And as you know, all of them need chips. According to Gardner Group, they are a analyst firm. They, they look at statistics and numbers and growth in different industries. The global PC market grew 4.8% year over year and 10.7% in the fourth quarter of 2020. That's significant. Now, since the pandemic, consumers have put more emphasis on personal computers, obviously, according to preliminary, preliminary research from Gartner. Now, for the year, PC shipments reached 275 million units in 2020. That's a 4.8% increase from 2019 and the highest growth in 10 years. Micron's strategic shift to the data center market has lessened its dependence on consumers as well, which should pay off in the near term. Now, technically, pay attention. The stock just broke below the 50-day moving average, but it appears to be roaring back quickly, which is a sign of strength. It's already above the 50-day line as we speak. I'm expecting more upside and potential price target near the $100 per share level in the near term. I like the overall chip sector, and I believe it'll bounce back faster than the broader large cap tech market that holds several FANG stocks that haven't done much in months. Micron is making significant impact in the self-driving car segment since DRAM chips are required, and they provide close to 50% of the market cap at this time for that market, which is very, very significant. 
Look for more upside from one of the biggest and most strategic chip companies in the world in the near term. Hope that helps. What would you say? What would you say if I told you that there's a glitch in the market that forces Wall Street to buy up a stock? Now, this could send its price soaring 200%, 300%, even 1,000% higher in as little as 24 hours? Huh. Now, I'm not talking about tech explosions, value investing, none of that risky penny stock stuff. I'm talking about household names soaring triple, even quadruple digit. And knowing when this glitch happens could help you grab some of the fattest, juiciest paydays. And that's exactly why stock market expert and Forbes contributor Adam Sarhan is finally revealing how you can spot the next one. All you've got to do is click on the link below to learn the secret formula that could tip anyone to the next overnight explosion. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you're watching on YouTube. Stay ahead of the market by being the first to be notified when we post our next video.